Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and I'm here showing you a sample of me stitching out some variegated threads, and I'm keeping track of the numbers. And I decided to do this because I do not have thread charts for all of my threads. And sometimes you don't know how something is going to stitch out until you put the thread into the quilt. A lot of these color threads here are very similar. It's just that maybe one has an orange added in over the previous one. So I thought stitching out these designs would make a big difference for me. So that's what I am currently doing. I started the video with stitching out this one. And I am going to show you why with thread spools, why it's important. So I have this spool of thread here, and when I bought a second spool of thread, it does show a little bit more redness in the thread, but that's just how it's wrapped. It's actually going to look the same when it's actually stitched out. But this one is the very close, so let me show you another set. Again, I have a thread that's been unwrapped and I've already stitched these out and then when I get this thread you can see that it looks totally different but it's the exact same thread so I purchased this thread thinking that it was more fallish colors with more orange and green more fall to Halloween and didn't see all the red that's kind of hidden up underneath and it's very difficult to see that when you're on the computer screen so those are very similar, but just a little bit different. Then I have one here that's very different. This thread here even looks different when it's actually stitched out. This thread is actually the same as what's stitched in this feather. So it's more of a primary color design. And then when I bought another spool of it, it looked like this. So it looks like it's two different threads. And in actuality, it's exactly the same. And that is a big difference in the thread color. So that's why I decided to stitch out my thread so that I would know what they look like prior to sewing them into a quilt. So that is it for this video. I hope you learned a tip or could use this tip. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.